is jumping. My low rider is bumping. We are talking 616 Wilford Lane. Now this one is directed by Mark S. Allen and Dante Yor. And this one stars uh, John Littlefield as Jim, who is a grieving husband after the death of his wife. And he and his two teenage daughters uh, to get over the, the grief, they are moving house and they end up buying this massive kind of uh, property a huge property and we learn through a bit of uh, kind of the intro at the beginning there seems to be a murder suicide at this uh, particular particular um, property that may well have been the result of some type of possession possibly at least anyway and as this family then move into this house we see kind of strange kind of things happening um, the kind of local residents, including Eric Roberts, who is the local mayor, wants to kind of like hush things up because he doesn't want to kind of detract from the property values, things like this. This movie is uh, is a quite a twisty film. There's a whole lot kind of going on. What will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. This is quite a hard movie to review because the premise seems somewhat simple, but there's actually a lot going on in this movie. Um... First of all, let's talk about what I think works in this movie. I have to say, our trio of central characters, uh, the father played by uh, John Littlefield, and then his two daughters, um, first of all, Stacy, who seems more of the sensible kind of type, uh, played by Alison Gork, and then you've got um, Randy, who's the kind of the more impetuous kind of hot-headed, sexually charged daughter, played by Jessica Challoner. And I really enjoyed their interactions. I thought they made a, a, a quite a interesting um, sort of family dynamic that, as you watch the movie as a whole, you'll, you'll understand is, is quite complex. And uh, I just thought all of those three actors did a really good job of, of selling you on... Um, having three very different types of characters, but also three people who have a bond and how that kind of bond changes through the movie. I thought they all did a they did a great job, to be honest with you, of really having um, three characters who are quite interesting and and well acted. And I, and I kind of like I was engaged in all three of their their kind of the characters and the relationship as a trio. I thought was very strong. Uh, so that was that was quite good. The, the horror in this movie as well is quite subtle. Um, and I quite liked it. Now, it's obviously a lower budget film. And when we kind of see stuff on screen, it's quite subtle. And I think even to the point where sometimes it will go unnoticed. Now, we, we, we actually have some footage within the movie that is viewed through security cameras. Now, it's not a found footage movie, this one. However, there are scenes where um, there, there, there are sequences via the security cameras. And it will remind you of paranormal activity. And I thought that was kind of quite good. And, it was, and again, there's stuff that's happening on frame here that seemed quite good. And kind of like, um, you know, it, it was quite subtle. I think it, it worked well. You could have really got notice things first of all because some of the kind of security footage is quite fuzzy so you don't always necessarily see stuff happening but it is happening at times as well uh that that was sort of quite good and i like the kind of like these there's a kind of a mystery in the movie uh, as to what's kind of going on exactly that i think the movie does a, a good, good enough job of kind of muddying the waters so you don't quite know what's kind of going on and you you you're you thinking some people are in the know about some things uh you know how much do they know why are they hiding things like this uh the the, the realtor for example the the, the next door neighbor played by eric roberts um you know how much are they involved and things like that i thought it was all quite good or quite an in intriguing uh movie to it to a to a certain degree um now we get to towards the end of the movie without kind of going into spoilers here and we get to not the 
not the sort of final sequence, but the, the one before that, had it have ended there, I would have given it a 7 out of 10, right? Uh, and I'm going to say what it is, because I obviously don't, don't want to kind of spoil it uh, going forward. But the, the, the conclusion of the, let's call it the house story, uh, I actually thought, if that had ended there, that would have been quite a unique way of ending this kind of movie. And again, it's, this movie is very hard to kind of uh, critique in some ways, because it's so... The ending is so um, important to this film. It's a lot of it, will, a lot of what I think about it will come from the ending. Without having to tell you, it's difficult. But suffice it to say, this kind of movie almost has two two endings. And it, had it stopped at the first one, I thought it would have been um, it maybe not as twisty, but uh, it, I think it would have been different enough to make it kind of like quite a good movie in that respect. So let's move on to what didn't work for me. So there's, there is a kind of like, I say, so there's two endings, and again, I'm trying not to be, uh, to kind of give you any spoilers here. The finale, the, the final sequence, which is an actual fact, has a, it's actually kind of two sequences, to be honest with you. But um, that, to me, kind of undermined the film. It was clever and unique to a point, but it didn't make as much sense as, it, as I, say, I, think, I think the movie thinks it does. Because there's sequences within the film as a whole that when you think back and look, things like private conversation, sequences that happened, things that we see as a viewer, it doesn't make sense as to uh, what the, the finale presents us with. It's all I'm really going to say. That's all I can kind of uh, say without kind of really spoiling it for you here. But suffice it to say, I think the movie, had it ended at a certain point, would have still had quite a, a, a unique ending but would have let, would have been a lot more ambiguous as to what's as to what's going on. The movie as it stands, with the kind of like this this extra ending, which is actually kind of like I say, really two sequences, and it kind of um, I actually don't think it works. I actually think that it weakens the film, to be honest with you, and uh, it, it it tries to have a very left turn twist, which you know I think with a twist you've got to be able to. Um, you know, it can't be obviously be obvious, but you can't, it, it, to come out of completely nowhere, it seems like a little bit of a cheat. Um, it's almost, just, you know, it's, you, 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 you kind of have to, I think, at least, the, or some audience have to be able to work it out. When you have a twist which comes out and not completely left field, I don't know, it's a, it's a little bit of a cheat if you ask it, but even outside of that, I don't know if it completely makes sense in regards to what we've just seen as a film, as, as I say. So it didn't work on a number of levels, although, although I will say it is, it makes the film a very different uh, film to what you think you're going to watch. Um, outside of that, what can I say maybe that uh, well, it didn't work? Initially I was going to say that I think the, um, the two daughters were a little bit cast, a little bit too old to be teenagers. And it's, that critique still kind of holds up, to be honest with you, um, if you are to you know, be believe the kind of the, the narrative that the movie presents it with, although the film actually does kind of have an explanation for this. Um, but nonetheless, I, I think maybe they were kind of, they were cast a little bit old, uh, to be honest with you. Um, you know, there you go. Um, the film ultimately is quite slow. Um, there is a a sense that you're kind of wanting for a little bit more to happen and it kind of just to kind of like the pace to pick up just a little bit as the movie progresses now again there is a reason for this um and i actually do appreciate the uh the story that movie this movie is trying to tell but i do think sometimes it it kind of labors on scenes a little bit too long from here and there so this film is a difficult one to review because without obviously giving you spoilers, I can't really uh, tell you too much about the uh, what I think about the film as a whole. Suffice it to say, it's a very interesting film in a lot of ways. And I feel it may be uh, kind of overlooked as just another kind of like a haunted house movie, when in actual fact this movie actually offers a little bit more. I think the experiment that it tried to do um, maybe kind of went too far in the other direction and had it kind of reined it in a little bit, I do think it could have, um, you know, it actually could have been quite an interesting uh, conclusion to this movie. And I also will say, I think some people will be dissatisfied with what they have watched, hoping to have watched a certain type of movie and you end up watching kind of another type. 
So overall, I'll give this movie a 6 out of 10. Had it, as I say, had it kind of stopped after the first ending, shall we call it, I would have actually given it a 7, although because I, I, I do think the epilogue detracts from it. 6 out of 10 in the end for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Uh, leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.